Hello, Hello. everyone. It is the Tier Force whatever <laughs> mailbag crew here. It's, of course, Gooey, Corey, and Nico. All here today. Hi. <laughs> Gang's all here. The classic gang, <laughs> as you remember. <laughs> um, no, of course, Nico uh, couldn't join us for this special episode, so we're joined by McKenna. Hey, McKenna. Hello. <laughs> uh, now, did we get did we get Nico's endorsement for this prediction we're about to make? Uh, I think I said to Nico, you should endorse, send us a video of you endorsing it. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, okay, but then I don't know if I'll get that video <laughs> before. Oh, so, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. Oh, man. This might, this might be bad. We might have to talk to our lawyers. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Nico's gonna sue us for something huh? <laughs> for something okay so we, for, for bad prediction <laughs> we haven't even said what we're doing but you can see you can see the title <laughs> it's musical march madness at zelda dungeon uh we are filling out our own bracket for those who don't know musical march madness is a tournament we've had i think this is the fifth year now and it's basically a tournament in the style of the uh, ncaa march madness bracket but for zelda music so um we basically have a big bracket of many of the most iconic songs in zelda and some of the deeper cuts and we put them up against each other and uh you actually can make a prediction a bracket um for yourself at home to predict the winner of this tournament uh the link will be in the description of the video and uh yeah i think the what's cory what's the winner get I think the winner gets some some sort of uh, some kind of merch. Some kind of merch. something. But There's some kind today. of sweet little prize for you. We're oh, but also what what we also failed to mention is that you actually vote on the website every day for which song you want to win. Oh, so it's like yes, on the course. website Important is where the stuff. polls are, and on the website you vote. They pit each song up against each other. There's multiple polls per day. You vote for which one you like best. And the bracket competition is like a side thing where you make your own predictions, which is what we're doing right now. Yes. So you'll be voting when the tournament starts on Wednesday, tomorrow, as of us recording this. We're recording this before it starts, but the video might come out a little bit. Well, we're not cheating, I promise. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to go vote for your Let favorites. me check the first few days results. But, in, <laughs> but yeah, in our bracket here, we're trying to actually predict the winner. So, uh, Corey, you were this week. You were over on the Zelda cast, and y'all did a tournament that was just your favorite songs, just our personal favorites, your own winners. Which was that was a very yeah. fun episode. But now you're here today yeah. to try to win. This is like really... I got my I got my prediction cap on. <laughs> uh, and yeah, McKenna, are you ready? I know you've That's been in good. tune. You've been. You've made your own bracket, so you've already kind of right, got an idea. I did my bracket. Had a hard time with some of them, but I, I, have, I have not <laughs> thought of these matchups. This I have not thought of any of these except for when listening to your ZeldaCast episode. So this will be interesting to try to put this together as we, as we go on the fly. All right. So, we can do it. <laughs> yes, we got, we got this. Our first matchup is the title theme from the legend of zelda versus the temple of time from ocarina of time um this is gotta be it's gotta be title theme right this is where we should say that previous years knowledge of the tournament can help because some songs you think oh they're not going to do that well but then you look back at previous years and they get farther than you think or sometimes you know not as far as you'd expect so I feel like title theme usually does pretty well, though. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's got. I think yeah. it's gotten up into the elite eight a few times. It's usually a pretty pretty good performer. But we've also Temple of seen... Time is cool, but it's not like it's not the same. Okay. Okay. Not yet that iconic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. All right, we'll move. I'll advance that. I'm okay with that. All right, our next matchup here we have is. Queen Rutella from Twilight Princess versus the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time. 
What do you guys I think? think? Queen Rutella's is... got it. <laughs> Queen Rutella? Yeah. I think I feel like that's this is kind it. of a toss up because it's like they're both nice. They're both like water themed. Yeah. Both pretty. <laughs> I feel like the Water Temple song is kind of iconic. And Ocarina of Time. I guess we could say that about Temple of Time. But like a lot of those songs get heavy favor yeah. in these tournaments. So Ocarina of Time bias that's is true. a real thing. But it I don't is. know though, because like that's not. I feel like Forest Temple's definitely one that is uh, everyone always yeah. loves. I don't I don't usually hear a ton of praise for Water Temple even though I do I think that song is fantastic too. Yeah, I, I think it's great. Yeah, I think there might be some association with uh, some Water Temple frustration too. <laughs> That's true. That's that, a good point. Not a lot while while Al, menu eating. Said, <laughs> Al said that song was triggering for her. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, you know what? I, too. I'm actually. I think my, I'm gonna side with McKenna on this one. I think it's gonna be Queen Rutella because Queen Rutella theme is also the Serenade of Water from Ocarina of Time, just kind of like remixed mm-hmm. a little bit. So. So mm-hmm. it even could get some of the Ocarina. It's got a little Ocarina, board. yeah. Got a little extra. All right, we'll we'll go with Queen Rutella then. All right, up next we've got Fi's Farewell versus the Shrine theme from Breath of the Wild. Um, <laughs> I have a sim. It's two heavy hitters. <laughs> well, I'd imagine there's people who probably have a similar-ish feeling about the Shrine theme in that it's like, oh, I just. You know, I heard that so long. You know, I did a bajillion shrines, and I'm sick of that song. But I don't know. I think Fi's Farewell probably has more of a. I think that's a heavy hitter. That that usually does really well. It does usually do really well. Also, though, it's like it's. I think it's usually a toss up between whether or not it's Fi's Gratitude or Fi's Farewell. But to be honest, I don't think anyone really knows the difference between those two. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) one's a little more. I don't know, gentle, sad. Yeah. <laughs> they just see Fi and they're like, all right, that's good. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I do think Fi's, Fi's farewell is going to probably blow it out of the water. Mm-hmm. Agreed. All right. Then let's move on to our next one. We've got Hyrule Field from Ocarina of Time with versus After Boss Battle from Twilight Princess, which that's kind of like, isn't that kind of like Midness theme, right? Or it's like the main. It's, yeah, it's like da da da. That's da, kind of a da, nice da, song, but da, da, da. Hyrule Field. It is nice. Yeah, it's like that same. It's Definitely like that same that melody, Ocarina. but. Yeah, for sure. Hyrule Field. I don't is think too that's iconic. even. Like... Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone right. loves Hyrule Field definitely. Ocarina of Time. And this is we should say I guess people probably know how these are usually seated that in the first round you know you'll see some really big songs versus some not quite so big songs and that's definitely um here in the next match which is dark world from a link to the past versus tower of the gods maybe maybe that's not actually true because i think tower of the gods people love but i feel like dark world that's like yeah that's, that's not a look nuts house. for dark world uh, spoiler alert dark world is what i picked to win the entire tournament in my personal bracket Okay, so we'll see wow. how far here. I would, I'm guessing, then probably. Yeah, yeah. I think so. All right. <laughs> so then we got Farewell Hyrule King versus Faron Woods Silent Realm. Um, I forgot that the Silent Realms had different music. Actually, yeah, it's pretty much the same melody, just like slowed down and quiet and. This mm-hmm. farewell Hyrule King, it usually gets the respect it deserves, right? I think so. Actually, I don't yeah. know how often it's been. Has it been in uh, Musical March Madness all the years? I think it definitely has before. I don't remember. Maybe that, yeah, maybe that well, wasn't last year, but... Hyrule Castle, I mean, it's a remix of the Hyrule Castle theme. And that usually performs decently well. And I honestly like this version better than the original, mm-hmm. so... Oh, it's so but this isn't our personal picks. This is our predictions. <laughs> but I'm still predicting it's going to be the other one. Yeah, I love the Silent Realm music, but I, I think Farewell Hyrule King is going to do it. Yeah, let's go with that. 
All right. Um, Tall, Tall Heights versus the Talus theme from Breath of the Wild. I'm thinking Tall, Tall Heights, right? I mean, the Talus theme is actually pretty sweet. I love all the, the Talus theme is awesome. Dun, 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 dun. But <laughs> yeah, it is good. I think I also think Tall, Tall Heights, though. Okay. That is very yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we got to also that's something that is always something you got to account for with these predictions too is like recency bias for games that have come out more recently mm-hmm. than others. Like some people might have heard the song more recently and it might be fresh in their mind. And like Link's Awakening did just come the original just came to Switch and like the remake came True. out a couple of years ago, so I thought they you have were both versions that they can in reference to. to Breath of the Wild, but no. <laughs> I guess that is more recent, but yeah. Okay, okay. Tall, tall heights then. All right, Rito Village from Breath of the Wild versus the Underworld from Legend of Zelda. This is a tough one. What do you think? Even even if I even had to pick like which one I like better, it'd be tough. But I guess I don't know. Has Rito Village? I mean, Dragon Roost. We should say, Dragon you know, Roost does. in previous yeah. years, we've retired the winners, and I think Dragon Roost, that was our, was that first or second winner? I can't remember. One of those. I think first and second were like Dragon Roost and then Gerudo Valley. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. But does that carry over to Rito Village? Has, has it done? I don't know how it's done in previous years. Maybe a little bit. But I always think that like it'll... I always think it'll get that Dragon Roost Island treatment, but it never usually does. I think it's usually seeded kind of like a middle seed, and like it, you, I think it usually gets to like the second round, maybe third, and then gets knocked out by something bigger. So I yeah, think it could weird. be Underworld, though. I don't know how many. I feel like Underworld doesn't get the appreciation that it deserves. It is a classic <laughs> song, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I I think it's going to be Rito. Okay. I'll go with that then. Just uh, so we're aware, in case we're indecisive. I got the trusty old ketchup packet right oh. here. <laughs> Just in we, case. We use that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw. Leave it to faith. Yeah. All right, next we've got Kokiri Forest from Ocarina of Time versus Synthrova boss battle from Cadence of Hyrule. And while Synthrova is an awesome theme, uh, Kokiri Forest is, I think, one of the most, you know, remembered and beloved songs from the series. I don't, I don't think there's any way it loses here. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big nostalgia hitter. Definitely. Like, I have such strong memories of hearing that. And I love the Synthrova theme. I love it. But <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think it's beating. I don't think the Cadence songs ever do very well. I think I think Gerudo yeah. Valley was in it last year. And I was like, I love that. And I don't think it got past the first round. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't get the love they deserve. <laughs> but it's I guess, you know, I expect that, I guess. Um, Mipha's theme from Breath of the Wild versus Agatha's Castle from Twilight Princess. Um, I have no idea how this would go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is all is kind of a toss up a little bit. There's certain things yeah. that I feel um, like uh, sometimes I feel out of touch. Like I'm old and out of touch with the the Zelda community because I'm like. Do people like the champions themes? You know, like I don't, I don't, I don't hear people talk about them. But I would then watch this. Like maybe it just completely kills it. I don't know. I feel like I when I they... do hear people talk about the champions themes, it's like Mifas and Sidons. But that's yeah, where I, I hear do like it. Talk... Yeah. I think people because like they they had the little samplings of the champions themes in some of the in some of the breath of the wild trailers like they have daruk's metal in one of them and they have like a little bit of Rivali's theme in mm. one and i think people do like those but i especially listening to these two songs side by side like agatha's agatha's castle is just like a pretty short loop it's a nice little song but it's a short loop that just keeps going and going and i think 
if people actually sit down and listen to him side by side, they're going to be like, all right, Mifa's theme's got the, got the edge here. It's so emotional. So Mifa's theme? That's my, that's what yeah, I think. I think that's, yeah. Okay. I'm uh, cool with that. Then we've got, oh, this is a, this is a nice matchup. We've got Low Rule Castle from A Link Between Worlds against the main theme from Triforce Heroes. I was going to say Tier Force Heroes. Tier, the, the main theme from Tier Force Heroes. I mean, people. it technically <laughs> is. Um, so, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, Low Rule Castle. The main theme from Triforce Heroes is obviously a jam, but I think this is a pretty obvious, like, winner. Low Rule Castle yeah. will probably be. Oh, yeah. Oh, hands down. Gonna, yeah. There's, it's just got Low everything Rule Castle? working for is an amazing song and it also performs very well usually and it's just like it usually gets pretty high and then just gets knocked out by one of the heavy hitters so i think at some point low rule castle is going to have its day in the sun maybe like in the the 10th year of this <laughs> yeah, yeah after the after the top nine have been removed from the bracket yeah i think this next yeah. one's Sorry, I, I think the next one's another easy pick, but I could be wrong here. But we got Legendary Hero from The Wind Waker versus Lost Woods from A Link to the Past. Um, I think Legendary Hero's pretty pretty iconic, even though I do really like the Lost Woods theme. Maybe even a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think legendary hero i agree with that <laughs> all right cool. i can i can agree with that i i, I do think it. i this might i feel like it might be a little closer than i don't think this is going to be a blowout because that's a that's a good song i think people I, might I come to appreciate it. it a little bit maybe this but yeah, yeah. I, I think you're you're like that you've got everyone's best faith in mind that they're coming in they're like <laughs> all right i'm <laughs> I hope people do, but I, you know, I think some people might oh, just do. see, and they click. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. It's a fun I, part of filling out the bracket but, is that I go through you and know listen what? to all the music. Yeah. By that metric, they might just see Lost Woods and not realize it's a link to the past <laughs> oh. and be like Lost Woods for sure. <laughs> You're right. Oh. Or they might think it's like, oh, it's like Kakariko Village, or it's the same thing. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Um, okay, but we're saying Legendary Hero, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, that is fair. Next up, we've got Zelda's Lullaby from Skyward Sword. Is it is it like particularly to that game? That's what it said. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's still Zelda's Lullaby, but like that's the... I don't know. I've That's personally my favorite version. It's just got the yeah. most interesting instrumentation. Well, I'm sure anyone who likes any version of that song would love this version. That'd be my guess. Yeah, so I think it's got sure. that going for it. But then it's versus the main theme from Age of Calamity, which is that the theme on the map where it's like da 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 da. I think it's got it's got that in there, but it's not. It's a little longer. There's like a an intro to it. Well, um, no one's voting for this. No one's no, no one's this. voting. Yeah, it's Zelda's exactly. lullaby. For sure. <laughs> no yeah. offense. Side yeah. note: You guys said you're 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 playing through that game right now. That yeah. is part of what made me so turned off from that game. Is that that map music plays way too much? It bugs. It gets me riled up. I don't like it. it I love when it intrusive. changes. Yeah, when, yeah. It's, when there's like the calamity yeah, going because it's on, playing something really else. Cool. <laughs> it's just a little too much to be looking at the map. I think. Yeah, it's yeah. like um, it's like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yes, the... <laughs> you're like, it's oh, oh, oh. you're like hold on, down. I'm just trying to look at my gear right now. <laughs> You know what it needs is that it's Wanda not... Gamelon map theme. I was, I was just gonna say it's no Wanda Gamelon map theme. Do, 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 do. Okay, that okay. gets me pumped to pick a level. <laughs> hmm, Nortinka? Is that? Yeah. I don't remember which game that's in. I wish that was on here. <laughs> okay, we have the trailer theme from Twilight Princess uh, against Mulgara from The Wind Waker. I think these are both pretty highly revered songs yeah i think this is the one i had the hardest time 
choosing in round one. I don't even remember what I picked. It was really, I think it was a toss up. Yeah, I don't know. these are both, it, these are both very well performing songs in the yeah. past. Like people, people like both of these. Is this a, is this a ketchup packet situation? <laughs> I'm always down to flip a ketchup packet. If you guys want, I'm I'm open to it. You did it yeah, on did you do it. it on the podcast. Sometimes that's just how it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a banner week for this ketchup packet. <laughs> Heads uh, trailer theme. Tails is uh, the other one. It's trailer theme. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I guess Mulgara. <laughs> you, you didn't speak up when you. <laughs> no, no. Ketchup has decided, Goo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Um, next up we've got the Song of Healing from Majora's Mask versus the Zelda's Adventure main theme. <laughs> why? Why is this uh, on uh, here? <laughs> where's the map theme from Wand of Gamelon? Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. there, are, there are like, would win. There are, you could put the entire soundtrack of Wand of Gamelon or Faces of Evil before this song. <laughs> You're right, actually. Tony Trippy. <laughs> Tony Trippy is a master. <laughs> okay, I moved up to yeah. healing. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, slow down. Okay, okay, okay. Um, next up we've got Minish Woods from the Minish Cap. It's seated higher. Is am I wrong here? It's against Spirit Temple from Ocarina of Time, which I feel like is a significantly more iconic song. But the Minish Woods yeah. songs is nice. But I feel like Spirit Temple well, is the. I don't well, of know. Of course, talking about the recency bias. I think yeah. a lot of people have been mm, playing Minish Cap. True. For the seating, Andy was trying to explain this. I think it was this year, it was solely Andy and Mossies that were responsible for the picks and the seating. And I think Andy only took part in the first part of the seating, and then the rest of it was Mossies. So we can blame Mossies for any for any sketchy seating on this bracket. Okay. <laughs> but okay I do think this is I do think this is kind of a like a a misrepresentation. Because I love the Minish Cap soundtrack, and I think Minish Woods is awesome, but I don't think people appreciate it as much, as, right. especially as a compared to an Ocarina of Time dungeon theme. So I'm going Spirit Temple. Same. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you can get that. <laughs> All right, next up, Clock Town from Majora's Mask versus Tingles, Rosie Rupee Land main theme. <laughs> Okay, Clock Town. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Great Sea from The Wind Waker versus the main theme of Breath of the Wild. I feel like this is a tough one. Am I am I wrong to say? Yeah, I agree. I, this is kind of a toss up too. I think I could I could I think Great Sea is gonna win, but if the main theme wins, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think. Yeah. I think I picked main theme in my bracket, but that was another one I had a hard time. Yeah. I know, I know, I think some people like just don't like hearing the Great Sea theme as much as they hear it. So. That's true. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I'm sometimes like, we... surprised when I'm like, I'll say, like, oh, that's a really good song to people, and they'll be like, that's really not one of my, that's not one of the better ones in the game. And I'll be like, oh, okay. I mean, it's kind of funny because we, we were talking about we were talking about it on Zelda Cast. It's like the complete polar opposites. It's like a song that you arguably hear way too much, and then a song that you hear almost none of. You know? Yeah. You get like bits and pieces of it, and then the big one yeah. at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Main theme. Go for it. All right. Okay. I don't want to do. An, it's too soon to do another catch up. Not in the same. Yeah. Way. We're still in the same round. Yeah, we don't. want to. We don't want to. Once per round, it. is that what we're? <laughs> yeah, it takes yeah. away the uh, the shock factor of the catch up. Exactly. Yeah, you don't want to overdo I'm it. I'm gonna blow your guys' minds one day, and I'm just gonna bring like a mustard packet or something, and everyone's gonna be like, "Whoa!" 
<laughs> I did on the fire sauce packet from Taco Bell. That's good. That counts. Um, all right. It's a condiment <laughs> packet. Hidden Village versus Kipora Gabora Seam from Ocarina of Time. I feel like this is a good matchup, actually, but I think everyone loves Hidden Village, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's Hidden Village is running away with that one. But Kipora Gabora has a cool theme. That would be, that's who I would vote for. Uh, not to, you know, Ocarina of Time gets enough love, but that song is a really good song. Yeah. Just it's underappreciated. Okay. I could go off on the song right now, but I won't. Let's talk about <laughs> the Tears of the Kingdom trailer theme and Hyrule Town versus from the Minish Cap. Uh, does the trailer theme get a lot of love? Tears of the Kingdom trailer theme? I love I don't it. No. I love it too. And I feel like it's an incredible song. And I think when it, like that first trailer, people were like, oh, this is a nice song. But I haven't, like, I haven't heard people, like, blowing up about it. But that said, I feel like it's going to perform very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. I think so. I think people will probably be pretty hyped on it that they'll they'll vote for it. I don't think it'll carry it that far. I think, I, I, yeah. Versus, yeah. like, an, an actual... Like, Hyrule Town isn't really, like, an established, like, classic. Yeah. It's kind I, of a... Not well, not as well-known one. I could even see... Okay, we'll talk about it next round, but... Uh, title theme from The Wind Waker versus Alien Invasion from Majora's Mask. That's a neat little addition to get yeah. destroyed by title theme. Yeah, agreed. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Kakariko Village from A Link to the Past versus Gerudo Town from Breath of the Wild. And this is one that I think it's like all-time classic song, but I I also think maybe people who've recently played Breath of the Wild might you know, be more apt to pick that. What do you think? This is a toss-up for me. What are, the, what, what are they seated again? 7 and 10. Seven Kakariko. Kakariko is seven and Gerudo is ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think this is gonna be a weird one because I personally like a link to the past, a link between worlds. That kind of version of Kakariko, the Kakariko theme, is my favorite. But I don't think it's the the general fan base's favorite. I think a lot of people like the Ocarina of Time, like kind of whatever sound that has. It's more like a quaint town feeling thing and I feel like they're similar there it's pretty much the same melody but it's yeah. like i don't know it's different it, it's got different sounds and stuff but it, it to me has a zelda's lullaby feeling that like if if you were to ask me to pick a like i, I would kind of just lump it all together you know in a good way i think it's just sure. oh, it's such a night that's like that's like just the same it's like a slightly different version of pretty much the same song. Okay. But I don't know. I also, I like Gerudo Town is also a banger. And I think, personally, I think Gerudo Valley was so strong that people are going to see Gerudo and it's going to have, it's going to have <laughs> kind of that knee jerk reaction of, oh, Gerudo, yeah, Gerudo, yeah. I like it's that It's just one. the brand. <laughs> yeah. Gerudo, <laughs> Gerudo branding. <laughs> Well, what do you think, McKenna? Uh, well, you can be the tiebreaker. I'm Kakariko. I I do think Kakariko. I really like Gerudo Town, and I kind of I see where you're coming from with the Gerudo Valley thing. I I don't know. I still think Kakariko has this like very nostalgic thing going for it. I agree, but I don't know. I I it's, didn't. It's, and I was it's insane. tough. I think. I don't think Gerudo Town's going to win. I'm just actually completely unsure. So I'm going to let you guys decide this if you want to go Kakariko. I feel pretty much the same as you, but leaning Kakariko. Leaning, okay. Agreed. It's actually to me almost like it feels like it that just feels right to me. That's like, well, who should win? (laughs) (laughs) If this were Milk Bar Kakariko Village, Uh, game over. The website would break. Everyone yeah. Coming to vote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, we've got Realm Overworld from Spirit Tracks versus Sant Battle. Twilight Princess. Uh, I think the Realm Overworld is a heavy hitter. I think it's yeah. it's due to win this tournament in it, it, by the tenth one at least. I think yeah, it's gonna at some hit. point it will. Yeah. Which would make uh, it yeah. Yeah, okay, we're going with that. Sorry, Zant Battle. At some point, Realm Overworld is just going to have, like, a really easy, like, set of matchups, and it's going to find its way in the finals and just beat out something else. Yeah, it's time will come. Yeah. Romance in the Air, Skyward Sword versus Hateno Village, Breath of the Wild. This was the hardest matchup for me, personally, and to predict. Yeah, because I think yeah, these are both same. incredible this songs. This is really hard. <laughs> but also, I think people love both of these songs, so I don't even. I need some some ideas from you two. I almost feel like it's sort of I'm sort of predicting, like almost like an upset. I feel like I don't know. I feel like Hateno might win actually, because I think I th- I. Part of me feels like there is just a strong emerging Breath of the Wild fan base, I think. Like I said, I might be out of touch. And so that's why I sometimes don't know what these songs like. It's like the game's not totally old enough to like say like it has like iconic songs yet, but maybe it's starting to. You know what I mean? I guess Terrytown would be one. I think Hateno is really popular. That's one of the ones. It is that a lot of people talk about. You know what, though? Skyward Sword HD. Mm. Just came out. <laughs> okay. But I I feel like if you're leaning Hateno, like I, I, I think I also might have predicted this in my personal one. Because I don't know how many times that's... I don't know how well it's performed in the past, if it's been in it very much. Me but either. I know... Yeah. the. I know the romance theme and romance in the sky have been in the tournament several times. And I'm always like, how does this not get farther? Cause I love it so much. You know and I feel like it, there's, I feel like it always gets knocked out by something. There's something more immediate to people. I think about seeing Hateno village and like your memory immediately snaps to that. Like what the song connects with. Whereas like, I think some people don't know that romance what romance in the air is referring it's, to yeah that's true it's like a very specific cut scene and it's like it's used super well in that but you it's not tied to like that location that you can just go to at any time and hear that song also hateno has a day and night theme night version which are both awesome so i'm cool with hateno does the bracket specify day or night no. No, I don't think so. So it's got a leg <laughs> okay, up here. Right, here we go. Yeah, so okay. it's both. <laughs> okay. Next, yeah. we got Hyrule Field, Twilight Princess versus Maid Village from Link's Awakening. Um, I feel like Hyrule Field from Twilight Princess is a very popular song. One that I don't really even care that much for. But I had to get that in there. But Maid Village, I feel like, is a is a, a banger, but it's not gonna get it's not gonna get voted on versus Hyrule Field, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's unfortunate uh, though. I know. I Maid personally Village would pick Maid. I would vote for Maid, but it's I just I don't remember which one I actually song. picked. It is really cute. I love the mm. night Hyrule Field theme, but I'm very mm. mad oh, yeah. on the daytime one. I mean, I, I love both of these themes, and I think I also think the fan base just loves the Twilight Princess Hyrule Field, so I think it's winning by a landslide. But yeah. it's kind of unfortunate because especially in the Link's Awakening uh, remake, there's a after you let the Maid Village theme play for like a loop or two, it changes instruments to like this really deep like bass clarinet thing, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah. That's all right. I guess, yeah, Link's Awakening. I don't think the recency bias of Link's Awakening will help here. No. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> it's a shame. Stone Tower Temple from Majora's Mask versus Outset Island from The Wind Waker. I feel like these are both pretty... These are eight and nine seeds, so... Yeah, this is, this is kind of tough, too. This is a tough I thought, 
I thought Stone Tower Temple in the past has been seated like really high. Am I just making that up? I, am, I, or am I, I just thinking know. of a different Majora's Mask song? I would imagine it would be because I always think of it as considered like one of the best songs. But like yeah. not even like that's not even my personal pick. I think just that's what I hear all the time, you know? I mean, it's really good, but. <laughs> I I think I might go Stone Tower Temple. Yeah. As my prediction. Yeah, I think go that way. It's toss up for me, so. Yeah, it's tough, but I just feel like that is what people go for more. I don't hear people like, like, if you bring up Outside Islands music, people love it, but it's not, yeah. I don't think it's brought up compared. I think just because maybe also some of the other songs in the game, it's just not held up as much, you know. Um, Title theme from Ocarina of Time versus the battle theme from Adventure of Link. <laughs> that's an easy one right that's now let's, re- let's really slow down and consider this for a second Ooh. you never know they're both good songs no, it's title it's title theme both good songs definitely but... yeah all right all right hyrule castle from a link to the past versus the lumpy pumpkin from skyward sword is this just, is this just Her- firewell hyrule king again similar <laughs> Um, I think so. Hyrule Castle, I think, right? It's that's a pretty iconic. Yeah, yeah. That's a that one usually performs well. Lumpy Pumpkin's nice too, but it uh, nice. it's not it's not as iconic. Um, I think this is a this will be a landslide. I think we got Song of Storms from Ocarina of Time versus Hyrule Circuit from Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> um. I think Song of Storms will probably win that one. So yeah. right. If they had put like Hilo Raceway or like Zora's Waterfall or like Picori Festival Park themes on there. <laughs> you never if know. Only, if only they got Go the watch movie. our Zelda Kart video if you haven't yet. That video was awesome. <laughs> Some of the the leaked music from that from that game. <laughs> Uh, okay, Girahim's theme from Skyward Sword versus the Temple theme from, I guess Melee Super Smash. All the Super Smash Brothers games have that. Um, <laughs> dang, I, I want that to win. <laughs> I think Girahim. If I'm not mistaken, I think Girahim's theme is seated higher, and I don't think it has a chance of beating Temple. I don't think anyone even sure. likes Girahim's theme. I, I love I don't Girahim's really, theme. I don't really hear anyone talk about it. It's so like it's, good. It's cool. It's creepy, but like he hums his own theme. <laughs> that's true. That is cool. If he likes it, yeah. <laughs> Girahim has good taste. He's, so yeah, he does. Yeah. You think it's? I don't know. I think there's just a lot of love for that character <laughs> that they probably vote for it. Yeah. That's true. Really? Okay. I, don't know. I guess I'm outvoted, but I think I think no, temples. I, I can be convinced of temple. You want to convince me? Because I want. I. I mean, palace. The palace theme from Zelda Two. Like I think it has performed in the past, and I also think Andy has snuck the the Smash version onto this bracket in the past as well. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's just way more iconic to not only to Zelda fans but like anyone who's played smash everyone knows the temple theme so that's that's my logic i think it's going to the next round but so we got a split you're the you're the tiebreaker goo (sighs) i'm gonna pick this is foolish i think i'm gonna pick the temple theme I'm, I'm I think both of these are getting beat in the next round anyway, so... That's a good point. No, 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that was one thing I was thinking when I was filling it out. I was like, hmm, yeah. eh, it doesn't matter. It's going to get beat next <laughs> I honestly think that... Actually, I want to respond. I'm going to respond to uh, Andy on the podcast. So this is just... I was going to type it in the Discord, but I'll just respond now if he watches. Because he was saying, talking about this version... 
And one thing I like that he said is like a lot of the smash or like a lot of video game remixes in general, you find a lot of like metal versions of these songs and particularly in smash. Cause it's like, they're trying to have like a cool upbeat fight song, but uh, yeah. he was trying to, and I agree that I like that. This isn't like that. He was trying to describe it. And it's almost like, kind of like prog rocky or something you know it's like it's got like big <laughs> yeah, you're totally right it's got like 80s sounding drums and like synthesizers you know <laughs> i would love to see this performed live by like a like a band <laughs> yeah all right anyway <laughs> uh hyrule castle from breath of the wild versus the earth temple from the wind waker um i feel like hyrule castle usually <laughs> kills it right yeah, this is this is another landslide for sure. This is what I have winning it. It's what okay. I put every year to win it, and I will put every year to win it until it wins. <laughs> also, it came in second place until last I, year. Until I will it into existence. <laughs> I was voting pretty hard for it last year. Yeah, yeah. I I think I have it going in the into the final two this year as well. This this crushes always. Mm-hmm. Um, Forest Temple, Ocarina of Time versus Hilda's Theme, A Link Between Worlds. I think Forest Temple is Forest, yeah. considered yeah. one of the better songs in that game. Yeah, gotta Hilda's be Theme Temple. is good, but mm-hmm. okay, that's the first round. So I think it's gonna start going quicker here. Um, title theme, Legend of Zelda. We're back around. Title theme versus Queen Rutella from Twilight Princess. Um, can the iconic nature of the Legend of Zelda theme take over? I think we weren't sure about Queen Rutella in the last round, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was against Water Temple. Yeah. Yeah. I think this yeah, might main... be the farthest main the title theme will go. But we'll see. You think you don't think title theme's gonna beat this? No, I think it'll beat this. I think that's how okay. It. I do oh, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause then it's going against the winner of Fi's Farewell and Hyrule Field, which I think my gut tells yeah. me Hyrule Field, but I could be wrong. Five. It's a four and a five seed. I don't so. know. Ocarina of Time, Hyrule Field, and mm-hmm. Fi's Farewell. Yeah. I I think they usually do really well. They do. The five it's, ones. It's like a beloved I'm... characters theme ish versus <laughs> an iconic ish game. I don't know if it's the beloved character. I think it's a beloved theme. It's a recognizable characters theme. <laughs> That's true. I think I Hyrule personally Field. I think um Fi's farewell is gonna beat Hyrule Field. I agree. Hyrule Field is like universally beloved, but I think it's also one that I'm usually surprised that it doesn't get farther. Okay. And okay. on the flip side, I feel like I'm always seeing Fi's Farewell or Fi's Gratitude in like the Elite Eight. Okay. I'll yeah, that. people go hard for those. Well, where do you just think... listen to Fi's Farewell like? <laughs> Are you okay with jumping ahead? Get a metal cover of Fi's Farewell. (laughs) (laughs) Can we jump ahead and pick the winner of title theme versus Fi's Farewell since we're kind of thinking about them both? Sure. What do you think? Fi's Farewell. I'm going. Fi's Farewell. I think Fi's Farewell. I'm going for the upset. I think it's Fi's Farewell. Okay, okay. All right, let's decide this next part. We got Dark World, A Link to the Past versus Farewell, Hyrule King. And I think this, I think Dark World will beat it out, even though it's a pretty World. awesome song. Dark World's yeah. going up, up, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think, I think Dark World will beat the winner of Tall, Tall Heights versus Rito Vill- Village. I agree. That's safe to say, but what is winning out of that tall tall heights or rito village i would go tall tall heights i think it's close enough to the main legend of zelda theme that people are going to gravitate towards it okay yeah that's my logic are you okay with that mckenna i think yeah yeah i'm not sure i feel like 
I don't know. It's hard. I feel like I always think Rito Village is going to do better than it does. Yeah. I think there's just... They're both really... They're both themes based on, like, really <laughs> iconic themes. That's I'm true. I'm telling you, sometimes it does... It, it's, it's, it's because the song is iconic, but it's sometimes seeing the words dragon, roost, you know, island... Yeah. Listed, that it's like people immediately will click it without thinking whereas maybe with this you like stop to consider you know what i mean like and some people might go oh i do like this or they just don't even or they can't think of what it is off the top of their head i don't know my my only other argument for tall tall heights is that even before link's awakening 2019 mm-hmm. this was a pretty popular pick yeah i remember it's got some classic like, people... like smash remixes and stuff like that yeah and, yeah yeah okay well let's move on uh and dark world is of course beating that so we'll just move on to <laughs> <laughs> kokiri yes. forest versus mifa's theme uh i think kokiri's forest is just so powerful yeah. Yeah. i think it's it is. locked into so many people's brains from childhood as just like a magical whimsical song and Mm -hmm. it's one of those ocarina songs that's a powerhouse i think yeah and oh here's a good matchup uh low rule castle versus legendary hero i think it's i think it's low rule castle pretty handedly really yeah yeah low rule castle does perform pretty well and i feel like legendary hero doesn't okay I just, I, I guess I, I, I don't know. It's a five seed, and I, I'm thinking that's like considered one of the most memorable. That's fair. Cut scenes in the series, but okay. If you're both saying that, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Outvoted, goo. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, Zelda's Lullaby versus the trailer theme from Twilight Princess. Um. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I actually don't know either. I well, I guess Zelda's the lullaby. one thing is Zelda's Lullaby has a bit more of an instant like name to song recognition. Yeah. That, that's that is one thing it's got going for it there. Although There's... I think the trailer theme is really good. Yeah, I wonder how big... Because I know if you... If you're talking to someone about the trailer theme and they they know it and they remember it, they're like, yeah, that's one of the best songs. But I wonder, like, I'm sure there's some fans you could be like, you remember the trailer theme to Twilight Princess? And they'll be like, oh, I, I don't remember. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I think this is just a complete, the, the disparity between people that are just going to look and be like, yeah, Zelda's Lullaby, I like that song. Versus the people that sit down and listen to both songs I feel like the people that do that are all going to vote for the trailer theme, and the people that don't are all going to vote for Zelda's Lullaby. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to so, vote for Zelda's Lullaby uh, in the poll. So, putting that out there. Well, you're wrong, but I think... <laughs> my vote my for prediction. It <laughs> yeah, I think my prediction is Zelda's Lullaby. Okay. That's me too. <laughs> That's the one where I vote just because it's not even like, it's like, it just needs to happen. That one's got to, that, that one, if there's a Zelda song Hall of Fame, you know what I mean? It's like, it would oh, be inducted yeah. the first year. <laughs> yeah. That's, right. That's true. Let's start a, a Zelda <laughs> Zelda song Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like right two now, Force Heroes. Let's just stop we'll, doing we'll this. Come up and... with... <laughs> <laughs> let's do something else, we'll guys. <laughs> We're halfway through the bracket, but, like, whatever. (laughs) Okay, okay. Uh, Song of Healing versus the Spirit Temple. I feel like this is a tough matchup, but Song of Healing has a much higher seed, um, which we've established may may not mean anything, but... I think it's done really well. I think it's gone to Final final Four, four, at least. Yeah, Yeah. multiple times. I feel like... Okay, let's go with that. I would go Song of Healing. That's that's another one where it's like, it's not. I always feel like it's it's less 
I don't know. I, I, I think of Song of Feeling and I'm like, oh, that's the short Ocarina song that's like really sad and nice. But like, it seems like everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. It's just all those scenes, you know, it's like yeah. kind of, yeah. yeah, it's the emotional core of a lot of the game. Uh, Clock Town versus the main theme of Breath of the Wild. I think Clock Town actually is one that also always kills it, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think it will beat the main theme from Breath of the Wild. I yes. agree. Okay. Uh, okay, this is one I wanted to circle back around to. It's the Hidden Village from Twilight Princess versus the trailer theme from Tears of the Kingdom. This is one where I'm not, like, I'm not sure, but I feel like the Hidden Village is such a classic and that I don't know if the trailer theme has solidified itself enough yet. But maybe that's just my own bias because I can't even... I, I remember, like, liking it, but it's, like, not one that immediately comes to me yet. But I'm sure with time, you know, it'll be... That'll be one that is a more memorable song. Am I wrong? What do you think, McKenna? Uh, yeah, I agree. I I think uh, Hidden Village is another one that's going to have that, like, song recognition advantage over it. And, you know, maybe the actual gameplay... I guess we could have mentioned that with the oh, Twilight Princess part. thing too, but just being in the game, playing it, having the memories associated with it, it has that over Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe in the future, the, uh, especially if the Tears of the Kingdom trailer theme is in the game. I don't know how likely that is, but... Probably I think it's so. Village. Mm-hmm. I think I might have taken the trailer theme one one round longer in my own bracket but like i could i could also definitely see hidden village beating it out right here just depends Mm -hmm. let's we'll go hidden village since we're all are more kind of lean that way but i think we then we can agree that it loses the clock town yes okay yeah i'm just gonna preemptively move that to save us (laughs) some time then (laughs) um title theme from the wind waker versus kakariko village a link to the past uh, I think the Wind Waker wins, but this is another one where yeah. Kakariko yeah. Village, I'm voting for it, because that, sure. that would be, in the <laughs> Hall of Fame we're building, that's a day one <laughs> inductee. But I think Wind Waker title theme would go in there before Kakariko Village, to be honest. I, I think they'd both be there. They would both be, but it's <laughs> who gets in year one? That's the question. Yeah, maybe I'm a little biased. <laughs> I'm a little... Uh, Bias towards the classics, I guess. They're well, both, at this point, I, Wind Waker is Kakariko a classic. Is a cla- that's true. <laughs> I love both of these songs, but I think Wind Waker title theme always crushes in this, which okay. is good, because mm-hmm. like, I've loved this song for so long, and it's so nice to see it get its due in this. It does well. It does well? Okay. That's, yes. That's good to know, because um, it's going to go up against the winner of Realm Overworld, from Spirit Tracks and Hotel <laughs> Village, Breath of the Wild. All right. I think Rem- Realm Overworld is kind of a powerhouse here, right? Am I am I wrong? I yeah. Agree. Okay, I never remember if this is one that like, it's one people like are like this is one of the best songs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. People are really like Realm Overworld. And it's gonna it's gonna beat title theme from Wind Waker. That I don't know. Okay, that okay, I think uh, is a toss up. Let's let's we'll come back to it. Let's not get into <laughs> it yet. Uh Hyrule Field from Twilight Princess versus Stone Tower Temple, Majora's Mask. And this is one where like I said, that I feel like I don't know because I assume Stone Tower Temple is considered one of the all time greatest songs in the series, but I don't know if that's actually tr- is that true? I don't, I don't know. What's it seated? Eight. I feel like there's got to be a reason for that, right? Maybe it hasn't performed that well the past few years. Yeah. Well, I guess we might not be able to trust the seeds. I think maybe it's just because it was like, hmm. It might be one of those things where it's like people, that's like one of people's favorites in the game, but that game has a lot of like detractors, you know? So maybe it, 
But it's pop. I don't know. It's pop. Do you like I. It? I think I would take Twilight Princess Field. Okay. I feel like that's just more. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Someone else decide. <laughs> McKenna, <laughs> McKenna, you make the decision. Executive decision. We we haven't used the ketchup packet uh, this round. It's true. It's sitting right next to me. <laughs> Flip Should it. We use it this round. Flip it. <laughs> There's so much Stone Tower sh- Temple. Just pure chance in our bracket. Stone Tower Temple is the heads and tails is the other one. Stone Tower Temple. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> um, we got the title theme from Ocarina of Time versus Hyrule Castle, A Link to the Past. Um, I think these are both big, big ones, but I think Ocarina title theme is going to take it home, <laughs> at least in this round. Yeah. I concur. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a classic. Uh, Song of Storms versus the temple theme from Smash Bros. I think this is where it comes to an end for temple theme. I think Song of Storms is too iconic. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ooh. (laughs) Sure. Hyrule Castle. Just okay. Wow. Hyrule Castle versus Forest Temple. This is a, you know, I think Hyrule oh. Castle will win. This is Hyrule Ooh. Castle. Breath oh, of the wait, Wild. Breath yes. of the Wild. Yeah, Hyrule. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, let, you know what? Let's work our way back up. This will be fun, right? Uh, <laughs> going so, funky, going all over <clears throat> the place here. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, this is a nonlinear bracket. Uh, <laughs> Song of Pick the winner first and work backwards. Well, I'm just so enticed by this matchup of Song of Storms versus Hyrule Castle. These are two that I like both. No, my pick. Okay, well we already got McKenna. I just feel like Song right. of Storms is. It's like, it's not even that. I think people. I think it's just too instantly recognizable and iconic. But maybe I'm. Was Song of Storm then last year? Because, again, I, Hyrule Castle came in second pl- place last year. I don't year. think Song of Storms has... Perf- this is this is my take on Song of Storms. I think it's past its prime. I think, I think 15 years ago, people were like, Song of Storms, best song in Zelda. Now people are like, <laughs> Song of Storms, kind of mid. <laughs> it's not even my favorite, but it's like... I, I have, like, merch... You know that has the notes from yeah the yeah the do 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 yeah it's like but yeah maybe that's a it, maybe that's becoming a boomer Zelda opinion <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, <laughs> it's, it's super accurate <laughs> all right well I think we I can't I think I don't know okay I roll castle <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Ocarina of Time title theme versus Stone Tower Temple. I think it's Ocarina. Okay, yeah. We've been so I also confused. think it's Ocarina. I was, I was trying to think what songs those were. <laughs> and once they popped in my head, I was like, yeah, no, it's Ocarina. Wind Waker title theme versus Realm Overworld. This is tough. Oh, God. This <laughs> is... This It'll be tough. funny if, like, this far into the bracket, I was like, I've actually, I actually don't know any of these songs. I'm just going <laughs> based off of the name. <laughs> what is Zelda? <laughs> Who's Lullaby? Uh, this is a toughie. Come on. It is a toughie. I don't, I don't know, because like, Realm Overworld, I think is. <sighs> I feel like people in the past few years have really come out and started appreciating Wind Waker title theme, or at least I feel like okay. I've noticed that, but that's <laughs> probably because that's it's already one of my favorite songs in the whole series. 
And I feel like because I've seen support for it, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Like, I've been noticing it because that song is relevant to me. Whereas Realm Overworld always gets a bunch of support, so it's kind of tough to put them up against each other. I, I don't really... It could go either way, for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm very split. They're both very iconic. They are they both kind of have the same vibe going where they fit their respective games so well. And it makes it hard to compare them. You know what? I think I'm going to cast my vote, my prediction for Wind Waker title theme. Because since Realm Overworld is the Overworld theme and it has the association with the trains, I think there will be enough people that don't like it because they hear it too much. Whereas you don't he- you only hear the title theme you only you only hear the title theme when you turn on the game, so And when you beat it, sort of. And yeah. Well that's the credits theme, Goo. Come on. <laughs> Same deal. What about when you play the, you know, when you conduct the actual songs? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's okay. I love that it's like a combination of both of those songs. That's so nice. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Okay, title theme is winning. I'll vote with you. That's nice. Um, oh boy. Okay, so Kokiri Forest versus Low Rule Castle. H- how good do you think this song is gonna perform, Corey? I think it's winning. I think Lower Castle's winning. I might be wrong. That's what I think. I think Kokiri Forest is just one that's like it's just it's it's not even that it's better. Though it might be. I think <laughs> Kokiri like there are some songs in Ocarina of Time where it's like they have the staying power, they're super nostalgic, and they're awesome songs. I think this one is one that almost always gets by solely on nostalgia. And then once it gets up against heavy hitters, people are like, okay, well, this song's better, though. And I feel like this is one where if people actually... I don't It It is kind of hard, though, because definitely not as many people <laughs> have played A Link Between Worlds, so... Maybe McKenna Castle... Low, Low Castle, is Castle is so good. <laughs> it is so good. Is it good? Like, yeah, you know, the to... people that are voting in this bracket know... Low Roll Castle. I'm I'm going Low Roll Castle. Yeah, the people who are voting in this are Zelda fans. They know Low Roll Castle. That's true. We've been very negative to the people voting so far. <laughs> you so guys sorry. know your people that are voting don't know anything about music. Don't know anything about Zelda. We're like everyone, please go participate. I think all the people who pick like aren't even gonna think about music. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, Zel- <laughs> All right, Zelda's Lullaby versus Song of Healing. Oh, this is getting um, tough. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. I'm leaning towards Song of Healing, even though, like I said about Zelda's Lullaby, Hall of Fame song. I think Song of Healing is one that people have a very specific connection to the song you know like collectively (laughs) collectively specific you know like those cutscenes and stuff where i know we selected it's from skyward sword but um i don't know feels like one that people it's it's probably not the number like people's go-to in skyward sword i guess it could be wrong i think people's go-to in skyward sword is probably valid the goddesses yeah which, is, which won last which, year. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm being silly here. I don't, song, I don't know. Song I of think, Healing is definitely an emotional heavy hitter. I agree with you, Goo. I think Song of Healing is going to take it. And that's kind of just based on... I think they're both really impactful. And people really love both of them. But I'm just trying to think of like how the brackets have been in the past. And I feel like... That's another one where I feel like Song of Healing is always up at the top, and I'm always kind of like, wow, this got really far. Whereas I don't, I can't think of Zelda's Lullaby being at the top as much. Even if it mm-hmm. was, maybe that's one where it wouldn't be as memorable to me if it did, because it's like, like I said, it's like, 
Oh, obviously it it's, should be. Yeah, it's just yeah. It's a little bit of yeah. Okay. I'll go song of feeling though. Yeah. Me too. So that puts us. We're in the elite eight now. So it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be pretty hard. Mm, I wouldn't say that because we have Dark World versus Fi's Farewell, and I still think Dark World. Dark World, baby. Okay, that's your pick to win. Yeah, that's. I think that's uh-huh. that all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we might have we might have a hard time deciding this. Okay, uh, Low Rule Castle versus Song of Healing. I I don't know actually I still think Song of Healing even though we were kind of split yeah, on the last one. Yeah, I think so too. We were split yeah, on the think... Kokiri Forest Low Rule Castle battle too though. So I think yeah. I think Low Rule Castle's time is up with this one though. Yeah. This is this is one of those ones kind of like I was talking about not green of time where it's like it's nostalgic, it has the staying power and it's an awesome song. And it's like emotionally impactful. As opposed to just like, yay, a fun, happy tune, you know? So, so I think people... Song, song of, of Feeling, that's Song my, of Feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Okay. Uh, ooh, speaking of fun, happy tunes, we've got Clock Town versus Title Theme, which I think are like spiritually, like one is like... Sim- they're similar in a lot of ways. They're these kind of jaunty, you know... Wind Waker Title Theme? Yeah, the Wind Waker title okay. game mm-hmm. versus Clock Town, which they're both kind of like. Do, 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 they feel do, very do, 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 bouncy. Do, do, do. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Ooh. Isn't Clock Town one that's always killing it, though? Yeah. I feel like Clock Town both... and Song of Healing kind of dominate the top. They do. Well, I think I, I did look at the past couple of years brackets. I think Clock Town has made it to the final two, or at least the final four. But I also okay. think it had a pretty easy ride. I think it just got like stacked up against a bunch mm-hmm. of like not as good, well-known songs until it got towards the end. Okay. This could go completely either <clears throat> way. I don't. I'm. I don't know. McKenna, what do you? What do you think, think McKenna? Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards title thing. Uh oh. Maybe. <laughs> what? We last round we didn't <laughs> use a ketchup packet. We've used the ketchup packet twice, haven't we? Yeah. Well, this is the. How many round. rounds? We're in the we're in the fourth round. Or is it Do too far? Wanna? It's too far along the ketchup packet, don't you think? I think so. I think so. <laughs> we gotta use it. We gotta use our logic know. for these for these big decisions. Okay. Well, it's. I think Corey, you're the tiebreaker. Okay. I think. I think. I'll go Clock Town. I trust. I feel you like instincts. Clock Town's. I feel like Clock Town's got. I don't know. I think it's just got a little bit more sway, and it's got the three different versions and stuff. And it's also like part of the, the the. The, the title theme or whatever, which is cool. True. Uh, mm-hmm. We know McKenna's pick for Hyrule Castle versus the title theme of Ocarina of Time. Um, <laughs> are we... Do we want to... I agree? agree. Yeah, I agree. I think it's Hyrule Castle. It's not what I... <laughs> Monty agrees too. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> that did not sound like agreement. <laughs> he's, he's screaming in the other room it's title theme <laughs> title theme <laughs> alright alright <laughs> alright we have the final four here um, <clears throat> so I think well, well we'll see because we in the final four we have both your picks still so Dark World versus Song of Healing uh, I know Corey your pick is the Dark World um. Do you what do you think, McKenna? the The two songs they're facing, both your picks are the Majora's Mask ones that we've decided are just like God. undefeated for some Untou- reason. Almost, almost untouchable. <laughs> are we? Do we want to cool. just make it Dark World versus Hyrule Castle since both of you? 
are high on that or do you think song of healing we're gonna fight it out on this <laughs> you gotta convince me does song of heal yeah does dark world beat song of healing yes okay. <laughs> oh my god i'm okay <laughs> and does hyrule castle beat clock town yes okay now who wins in dark world versus hyrule castle <laughs> i think what? actually i think you what? know it's up to you Goo. shoot okay but <laughs> um cory <laughs> what did you have what did you have going against dark world do you remember Hyrule Castle. Okay, Kenna, <laughs> what did you have going against a Hyrule Castle? Uh, I think Fi's farewell. Oh my gosh, that's been gone for <laughs> rounds. Now. It would have been so. No, no, it's. Good, I might might be wrong about that, but I didn't have dark. It wasn't Dark World. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm there happy. Was... I'm happy to cast the winning vote. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... you know. I'm I'm picking Dark World. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm sorry. Um, there's there's half of me that says, literally fifty percent of me that says, "You fool, Hyrule Castle. It's such a powerhouse." <laughs> Hyrule Castle wishes it could be as epic as Dark World. There's a hundred percent of me that says Dark World is going in the Zelda <laughs> soundtrack Hall of Fame day one. So yeah. Part of me just thinks yeah. it's it's wishful thinking. I think I would be voting for mm -hmm. it in this situation. I think hmm. there was <laughs> I can't remember why I had some logic. Like I was looking at matchups of like previous matchups of the of the prior like prior years brackets, and I was looking at like all right, this one against this, but this one against this, but this one went up against this. Oh my god! And for some reason, <laughs> I came to the conclusion in my mind. I was like, okay, that means Dark World is gonna win. Oh my god! <laughs> you were like, the numbers were flying yeah, around. Your was, head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The X Files theme was playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe Dark World will win. Okay. Well, yeah, Dark World. That's our official pick. And uh, Nico, Nico. Sorry, Nico. <laughs> may or may not endorse that. <laughs> yeah. But it's McKenna approved, which is, I think, uh, also a strong endorsement. Hmm. Mostly McKenna approved. Questionably. Approved. <laughs> Questionably. Oh, come on. We, we it's, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like we said, down in the description has the link to the the post about it with all the polls where you can uh well actually at this point you you probably can't do a bracket because it's already started but go vote go vote and really vote. this this exists for us to just see how smart we are <laughs> um yes yeah. well hopefully this we'll... is for posterity <laughs> <laughs> this is the only bra i'm not doing a bracket this is my bracket i'm i endorse this and i'm happy to go with this one this was easier, actually, right. than if I had to fill this one out on my own. This was easier. We're not even releasing this on the YouTube. This is just for us to re-watch to yeah. see what our opinions were. It's a vanity I'm... project. <laughs> yeah. I'm currently the only person who's seen this. It's a, it's a, a week after the project has ended, and I'm talking to myself now as I watch it. Um, okay, we're going to do a reaction video, actually. <laughs> to this. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god. I love that. We're gonna get to the end and we're gonna pause it. I'm gonna be like I should have gone Hyrule Castle. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Without having released the original video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you what do you say we end the video? Yeah, let's end it. Let's uh also I do little daily updates in the discord oh my in the gosh. there's a musical march madness channel they're very and fun every every day i do a little daily update to let people know how the matchups are going currently so they're kind of the high check it's those one out. of the highlights i would say it's yeah. checking oh, in every day and you get a really uh flowery 
write up from Corey. It's beautiful. I've, I'm not gonna lie. I like I usually do those while I'm at work, and I have wasted a lot of work time just <laughs> thinking of things to say. All right. Well, t- you can apologize. <laughs> well, you don't need to apologize to your employers. It's fine. <laughs>